welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute since I've filmed a video. Actually, no, I just finished filming. I'm trying to film like three videos today. I just finished filming a video of like an everyday makeup look that I do. Um, and yeah, hopefully I can get that one up or maybe it's already up. I don't know. I don't know where my schedule is going, but here we are today, Wednesday, sitting in front of the camera on a rainy day. Okay, so today's video is all about my favorites. It's not a monthly favorite because I can never go along with, go through with doing monthly favorites every month because they would just be repeats. So yeah. Anyways, so today is a favorites video and all. There's not very many items. So if you like my videos, like them. Um, <laughs> if you hit the like button. If you don't like my videos, just please hit the like button anyways. And um, I am trying to get a little bit more efficient on making videos, so please do subscribe. The more subscribers, the more videos I will put out there, because then I know that there's more people watching. So do subscribe and hit the notification bell and follow me on other social media sites at Can Be Real. Till then, if you want to keep watching to see what my favorites have been in the last few months, then please keep watching. Oh, some of my favorites are like, okay, there's some of the combos that I have here. Um, I am really loving lip combo. So I like to use the Anastasia lip glosses and my favorite combos are um, anything to do with this guy as a topper. So I will put on any sort of neutral shade. Um, I like warmer shades, so like more browns and whatnot, and I top it with this guy on top. Um, lately I've been really using this one here, the lip gloss, and I am like literally going blind. This is in vintage. So it's a little, it's, it's a little bit more pink, I would say, but like a warmer tone almost vintage and then I top it with that guy on top and I think that's an amazing combo. It's going to look amazing even in the summertime. I've been doing it throughout the spring as well. Um, yeah, and then the other one is um, a little bit darker. It's called Tara. This is a more of a brown, um, warm brown shade and then I top it with this guy here so let me see if I can swatch it for you I'm so bad at swatching okay so I will swatch this guy right here and can you see that swatch at all so that's Tara and on top of that I like to go on with this one and I will just do separate swatches um, because I don't have a tissue with me to wipe it off so you know like I don't want to get it into here so that one I do it and I top it off with this guy right there can you see that at all I don't know if you can see that at all if it's picking it up okay and then um, the light one is Mm. Let's do it right underneath it. So it's more of a pink, like the worst swatcher ever. Can you see the pink? I don't know if you can even see the pink. It's at the bottom. Okay, I grabbed the tissue, so I'll show you with this on top of each one. So I don't even know if you can really tell, but trust me, it's an amazing combo. Like, that's my favorite lip combo right now, the two lip combos I'm using. Um, next favorite is this fragrance. Oh my god. This thing smells so amazing. Like I wish I could, I wish I could like literally have you smell it. Oh, she can smell it. So this is 
my fragrance by Serge Luton, um, and it smells like oranges, so like fleur de oranges, so flowers, like orange flowers. It smells like there are like orange trees growing everywhere. It's amazing. It smells so nice. It has been literally, um, I'd say like my winter and spring favorite. I like to go a little bit more, this floral, this is like a musky floral almost. I like to go a little bit more um, vanilla flavored when I'm scented. I don't even know what I'm saying. Vanilla, vanilla scented when I'm in during the summertime. But this thing is amazing. It's so good. It is a little bit more on the pricier side but it will last you a long time and I'm gonna die, so good. Okay, um, next is my shampoo. So I am using right now, I've started using um, the, I've been using Herbal Essence for a while. I was using um, a different flavor, the orange one, but I started using this one. And then the um, conditioner to go with it. And it smells so good. It's like orange and mint combined together. Obviously there's like a theme happening with like warmer orange shades and warmer orange. Okay, so there's a theme happening, but it's like orange and mint together and you get like this refreshing, almost like a eucalyptus kind of like scent going through you while you're showering and it just like wakes you up. Just, oh, I can't, words can't even describe how it smells. And my hair looks pretty amazing too, if we want to talk about that. I think that it looks amazing. It's been doing a great job at Herbal Essence. I've always liked Herbal Essences. Um, shampoos I've used higher-end shampoos as well but my hair is so freaking long that I go through shampoo like nobody's business it is insane so sometimes it's just not feasible to spend like $40 on a small little bottle not for me because I shampoo my hair I like to shampoo it every day but I resist it and I shampoo like three to four times a week. Not every, yeah, three to four times a week. Hopefully, like, I try to get away with three, but sometimes there's a fourth day involved into it too. So yeah, it's just not feasible at times. Sometimes I do go out and splurge when I feel bougie, but other times I will just stick to my favorite herbal essence. And this thing, let me tell you, it smells it just it wakes you up it is literally like like I can't even say like coffee for the hair because that doesn't make any sense but it's just the smell of it it just la la la, livens you up I don't know it's just like that nice beautiful orange eucalyptus minty smell in the morning and there's nothing like it so yeah I, I can't even explain okay so I Next one is my Brazilian. Okay, so does anybody know how to, how to like, what, how do you pronounce that? Is it really Brazilian bum bum cream? Some people say it's Brazilian boom boom cream, but I call it bum bum cream. What do you guys call it? Uh, let me know in the description box below. But this thing is so good. It smells so good. I just have the one for the hands and like I am literally in love. I guess like there's a little bit, like I said, a vibe going on here. It's all about smells. Orange. So like orange, smells, everything. But um, yeah, so this thing, I can't even say enough. It is... <sighs> so good. I am dying. So if you guys, it's been out for a long time, but if you guys have not smelt it, go into your Sephora right now and try it because it is amazing. So they have also a body spray, which um, I think the little one is like $24 and the larger one is $40. 
and that thing is amazing. I don't have it. I never, I haven't purchased it, but I think that is next on my list for my summer scents. Yeah. So that guy. Um, next is deodorant. So I know it's all body stuff. Um, next is my deodorant. So I've been meaning to switch over to a natural deodorant for a really, really long time, but I never did because um, I don't know if it really does work. I, this one I've tried, the Kupari one, and I love it. I think it's amazing. It works. I wear, I wear it at the gym as well. It does. It does take time to get used to, but it, um, yeah, it works. Yeah, so that's all we need to know about deodorant, right? That as long as it works and it smells good, this one has like a like a coconut almost sort of scent to it. Um, yeah, it's really, really good. And next is my newest face wash, which I just purchased um, last week. And I am literally loving this. Um, face wash. It's the newest one by Sephora and it is supposed to be 99% um, of the ingredients are natural which is definitely a thumbs up. It's like a gel formula and um, it cleanses and it tones apparently. I still use a toner after it. Um, I think I use the witch hazel one. I don't know if I've ever told you guys that one but I use the witch hazel one and it's supposed to be for face eyes and neck um, it is apparently got aloe vera in it I know I read that somewhere here on the back when I, but anyways it's about it's 99% natural and the formula is like a gel formula and it's really good and it smells good too like it's it smells pretty good and it does like, um, I do double cleanse so I do take off my makeup with, I almost triple cleanse because I like to use a face wipe, then I use a makeup remover um, and then I use it, use this guy, oh and then I use my eye thing too. So it's almost like a triple cleanse that I do but um, it does like sometimes you know at least, sometimes even when you double cleanse or triple cleanse you always have like that little bit of leftover makeup on your um, face which your toner kind of shows you on your cotton pad well this thing I do find that sometimes maybe a little bit here because I probably don't even like clean it up there properly but this guy does an amazing job so um, this one's price point is like Canadian $14 so that is definitely a plus because like drugstore ones are almost like 10 12 dollars anyways I know you get some of them you get more product in it but um, for $14 for something that's like natural is definitely a plus and I would definitely go to your Sephora and check it out. Um, yeah, and then the last item is a bathroom item, which I really love. Wow. Hmm. Deodorant, bathroom, it is the bathroom spray. So this is a bathroom spray and it's invigorating, it says. So I found this guy at um, Marshall's and it is literally a bathroom sp spray so it is infused with a, it's a eucalyptus mint scent obviously I like eucalyptus and I like mint and I like orange it seems that way it's such a theme um, but it's got a eucalyptus mint scent and it's infused with essential oils it says so um, I don't know what that means for a bathroom spray if you want your bathroom to smell nice. I don't know what it means for it to be infused with essential oils. I have no idea, but it sounds nice, doesn't it? Um, so basically how you're supposed to really use this is before and or after going to the bathroom, you're supposed to shake it and then spray directly into the toilet, <laughs> four to six sprays. Um, yeah, and that's it. But I just, I don't spray it in the toilet, I spray it in the bathroom because it smells amazing and I like the way it makes my bathroom smell, eucalyptus and mint. So I found this guy at Marshall's and I know like Marshall's you can always find like something 
like all these like brands that you've never seen just to try something new but I just thought the bottle was really pretty it would look really nice in the bathroom and then it would make your bathroom smell nice that is all I have for you guys today um, there weren't very many items but it seemed like I just kept talking on and on maybe it's because I haven't filmed in a while but um, yeah so those are my favorite items for um, the last few months and I would highly highly suggest that you go and check them out especially the Sephora ones because um, actually all of them they're all really good so just go check them out and yeah um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you like it like it and if you don't like it like it anyways and um, I would love it if you subscribed and follow me on all social media at Canby Rehaul and until next time I will see you guys in my next video.